Okay, well, I think this is the first, but I'm going to come straight out and say it. Athena is a load of shit. Yep, this is the first episode of Battle of the Ports where I outright think the arcade original is awful. For those who don't know, Athena is a platform action game by SNK, released in 1986. You play as Princess Athena who opened the forbidden door in the basement of the castle. As she crossed the doorway, it caused her to fall from the skies into another realm called Fantasy World, which was dominated by the evil Emperor Dante. Athena falls to the ground almost naked, forcing her to salvage weapons and armor to survive. Sounds like it should be fun, but it isn't. The controls are terrible. You can only do reasonable jumps after collecting air boots. Nothing wrong with that, but the jump only works sometimes at random and only when you aren't moving forward. Then there's the cheap enemies that can trap you draining your power within seconds. There's also the inconsistent level at which energy is drained. I played for an entire hour and couldn't complete stage one. This really is an awful game. Oh, and yes, the Athena from Psycho Soldier is the modern day descendant of Athena Asimia, who also reappeared in the King of Fighters games. <laughs> The very first port of Athena came to the Famicom by Micronix, and we all know that every game Micronix has developed sucks big time. It's no wonder that they never put their name on any of the credits. So things are not looking good for this port right from the get go. Well, I'm going to be honest and tell you that it's not a great game, but it does play better than the arcade version. The jump mechanics are much better in this port and enemies are not as cheap either. The game still has issues, but considering what Micronix had to work with, Athena on the Famicom isn't all that bad. There are three European home ports all released on Ocean's Imagine label, so you know they're all going to be awful. Actually, the Amstrad CPC version was never released, so let's take a look at this Commodore 64 port. The first thing you'll notice is how much it resembles a ZX Spectrum game in looks. That's not the problem ruining this port mind you. As you can see, the collision detection is beyond diabolical. Just look at how enemies run right through me as I desperately try to hit them. Truly a horrendous bit of programming. Woo! <laughs> 
first impressions, the ZX Spectrum port seems to follow the arcade game closer than the C64 port, but yet again, it's awful. There's crap coming from you all over the place, giving you absolutely no time at all to attack them. Even if you are fast enough, you're still not going to succeed due to the slow response time of your main character. Oh, and the awful collision detection is against you too. Needless to say, I couldn't get very far in this port. And let's take a look at all those versions of Athena running side by side. Which one is the worst? <laughs> 